now we will see the relation of signal and amount of noise added to that signal here we are going to calculate the signal to noise ratio signal to noise ratio the definition of the signal to noise ratio is signal power divided by noise power here it can also represented by vs square by r and vn square divided by r furthermore you can write vs by vn square the input uh, signal to noise ratio is given as average power of modulating signal divided by average power of the noise at the input so input signal power divided by input noise power here output snr can be represented as average power to the, of the demodulated signal to the average power of the noise at output pso upon pno output signal power divided by output noise power snr is the figure of merit of any communication system hence all efforts made to make it as high as possible the higher the value of snr the greater will be the quality of the received output it is expressed in decibel as signals have wide dynamic range hence logarithmic scale it is used mathematically signal to noise ratio it is expressed as 10 log to the base 10 of s by n so here you can substitute the above value that is vs vs by vn square basically it can be represented as 10 log to the base 10 of vs by vn square okay so it will be become 20 log to the base 10 of vs by vn okay let us see the signal to noise ratio of an amplifier as here amplifier it is shown here rs is the source resistance ri is the internal resistance es is the source uh, voltage and amplifier here rn it is mentioned as noise is represented by fictitious resistance rn then rn is assumed to generate noise at room temperature which is equal to the noise generated by the device hence the rn is called the equivalent noise resistance of an amplifier okay so here rp that is parallel resistance is considered rp basically it is a parallel combination of ri equal to rf you can write here rp equal to ri into rf divided by ri plus rs okay so that is a parallel combination so vs equal to es here voltage divider it is applied vs equal to es ri divided by ri plus ri rf here four time rn that is equivalent noise resistance is considered kt0b we know that the thermal noise it is measure in terms of the kt0b hence at the output of an amplifier signal to noise ratio it is given as vs square upon four time rp plus rn kt0b here i would like to note one thing that signal to noise ratio at the output is always lower than that of the input why it is so because it is due to the noise resistance contributed by an amplifier hence snr at output is always lower